What's up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 video and today I want to do the Every Tiny House is a Different Sims 3 DLC. So essentially I'm just going to spin a wheel for each house. So for example, the first house will be an expansion pack, the second house will be a stuff pack, and the third house will be a Sims 3 world. The reason why I picked the worlds over the venues is because the worlds tend to come with more objects than a lot of the venues do. So I was like, maybe we'll just like base this house on a world or something. Let's go ahead and get into it. I think the first house that we're going to pick is this one over here on the left so why don't we go ahead and get into it all right so we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel hopefully it's something good like i want a good expansion pack with a lot of good items maybe like i don't know showtime or maybe supernatural what do we get university okay we can do a university house for the first one all right so the first thing that i want to do is look at the wallpapers that come with university i feel like most of these are just like interior wallpapers like i mean you could put this on the outside of the house right but like mm, i feel like it's more an interior wallpaper than an exterior wallpaper so we would have to use one of these for the insides i guess for the outside maybe we'll get a little bit generic and we'll just use something from the base game i'm gonna allow myself to maybe use some base game objects here and there if i have to so i'm gonna use this siding here from the base game and now i'm just going to get a couple of these angled pieces and i'm going to put them on the corners of the house i think i want this house to honestly be like a maybe like a green or something like i don't know maybe like a darker green color could be kind of cool for it so now that we have that done we can go ahead and move on to some windows so i don't really know what windows i want to use like i was thinking to have like maybe some like this but then we also have like these really big windows as well i could probably put one of these maybe in the back room but then also we do have like these nice windows too i don't really know what the floor plan is going to be just yet so i should probably uh wait to, until we can figure out the floor plan but i think for now i'm just gonna put this big window here or honestly i could do something kind of like this where we put them both at an angle to kind of let in some more light maybe we can have like a kitchen or something in this corner i'm gonna also try to put a couple of these windows back here on this wall and then maybe like a couple over here as well and then for the door i was thinking we could just use this one like it looks pretty cool i mean i wish it was a little bit more centered but i think it'll be okay though like that's looking pretty good so far and like the door kind of matches with like the wallpaper of the house and stuff and then when it comes to floor i don't know if university comes with any flooring it does not so we're gonna have to use something from the base game i was thinking that we could just use like free floor from the base game or something like that's a pretty color i think so when it comes to the floor plan i was thinking that the bedroom could be back here and then maybe i could draw out a wall for a bathroom because we kind of need one of those maybe we could do like one more tile that way for the bathroom it's gonna kind of be weird with the window placement like that's kind of how it is in the sims a lot of the times like windows look good from the inside Side, but not so much the outside because like look at that that does not look good <laughs> maybe what i could do is like put one on this wall one in the middle and then maybe one like that that might look a little bit better but yeah so i think we'll have like the bathroom be here and um do we have like any normal doors that comes with this pack see and like all the other doors that come with this pack are like window doors so i don't think we'll be able to use these we're gonna probably have to use one from the base game i think we'll just use these doors instead we'll put like two of them right here so when it comes to the wallpapers ooh, we could use this one this one is kind of nice and i don't really think i've ever used it before i do need to however move this plant because it's kind of clipping a little bit oh you know what speaking of plants university does come with a couple of plants i believe maybe like just one or two what we have okay yeah so university does come with a couple of plants so maybe i should use these instead these look kind of dead i could just replace the ones that's here with these if i have to right and then maybe i'll put like another one over here beside it like that's not my favorite i think the original plants look better but maybe we'll go for that right now there is also a tree that comes with this i don't know if i should put the tree oh i could put the tree like maybe by the house if it was a little bit shorter that would be best you know what what if i were to delete this tree and then like just put this one by it so before i forget i am building this lot in a world called Greymont Bay. Greymont Bay, it takes like some of the pre-existing plants in the game and basically recolors them. So for example, these trees that I'm using, these aren't technically custom content. They're recolored trees from World Adventures. Like these are these small Chinese maple trees. As you can see down here, it's supposed to be red, but when you place it in this world, it looks, you know, green. So if you do like place this lot down in another world and it turns up red, that's why. It's not technically custom content, but some Sims 3 worlds do that where they like reskin certain items. So if you wonder why it looks different that's why but i guess we'll go ahead and go on the inside i'm gonna start maybe in this corner and then we'll kind of work our way around so i want to go over to the kitchen category because i know there is a mini fridge that comes with university there's also a couple of these vending machines i don't 
know if I really want to put any of them down on this lot. So I'm going to think about it, but I don't think I am. But we are going to definitely use the mini fridge. Is there like any cabinets, any stoves, any small appliances? No, like there's not a lot. I mean, we do have a trash can, so I'm going to definitely use that as well. We do have this bookshelf. I might just put this over here for now. We have a couple of these pictures that we could put up on these walls. Is there any rugs? Yes. Okay. I think I want to have a small one by the door maybe have like a bigger one like over here because i want to put a table here and then have like some counters and stuff like that as well there aren't any dining tables that come with university but there are a couple of chairs so i could probably put a couple of these out we're gonna have to use a base game table but i'm gonna try to like pair a base game table with these chairs to kind of make it look good i'm trying to see which would look better would it look better on this or this? I think I'm going to use this table instead, though. When it comes to the counters, I'm just going to use these, and we're going to put them at an angle. And then I want to get a stove maybe over here on this wall, so we're going to have to use, like, a base game stove. We probably need, like, an actual fridge, too. An actual fridge would be very useful, so maybe I could, like, have that off to the side, maybe, kind of like this. Or honestly, maybe I should just, like, put this here and, like, put this beside it we could always have like one counter like that y'all why did i just realize that you could put a microwave on top of a mini fridge in this game i had no idea <laughs> like i know it's a thing in the sims 4 but i did not think that you could do that in the sims 3 and that's kind of cool <laughs> so maybe we'll put a microwave here and then maybe like a coffee machine or something over here in the corner you know i feel like a college student definitely lives here <laughs> i was thinking to maybe use like some of these university chairs in here so let's just see if we can maybe try to put the tv down first right i was thinking we could have the tv maybe be in this corner maybe Maybe I'll put the couch here. We'll have the TV like in the corner, right? And then we'll have like these chairs maybe around like this in this corner. I think we'll just have a lamp like this to go behind it. And then we'll get a coffee table, which I guess we'll have to use this one. <laughs> it's definitely given university, you know? And then is there any more artwork that we could get in here? There's a couple posters, but these can go in like bedrooms. Maybe like a school poster could go in here, like maybe one of those. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just put like one of these nice ones up. Yeah, we'll put that one up. That's, that's kind of nice. There is a record player that we could use, but maybe we'll use like this little stereo instead. And then there is a rug. So... We'll probably just use another one of these. Oh, I want to put up one of these flags. Oh, maybe this watch. I kind of like that. I'm going to see if there's any plant. Okay, there's like no indoor plants, unfortunately. So that's going to be kind of sad. Is there any game consoles? There are. There's a couple arcade games. Don't know if I really want to put that in here. I could put it like at an angle like this. And we could also put like an arcade cabinet maybe in like one of the rooms. What if we were to have mismatch chairs? So I'll put like maybe one of these and then like maybe we'll put like one of these like lawn chairs oh and i could probably put some of these outside too and put like a little bonfire that's gonna be cute maybe we'll have like two of these chairs here and then like we'll have like some of the rundown furniture outside that's gonna be so good y'all hold on let's do that right now while i'm thinking about it we'll get a bonfire we'll put it like back here and then we'll get a couple of these chairs and like sit it kind of around it and then maybe i'll just get a fire pit from the base game and we'll just put that out here and then we'll like pair it up with some of these chairs i could probably put a couple of these throwing disc and kicky bags around the lot too just so they can have something to play with maybe like a soccer ball as well oh you know what we could probably put like a little desk over here in the corner too just so you could have a place to do homework and stuff so university doesn't come with any bathroom stuff so we're gonna have to use something from the base game we're just gonna keep it super basic so i'm just gonna have to use like some of the tubs and stuff from the base game we'll get the tub over here we'll get the toilet in the middle and then or maybe the toilet could be like maybe right here and then i want to maybe use the same counters as the kitchen i'm gonna put them like against this wall and then we'll get two sinks and then we'll get like a mirror to go above it and then as for the wallpaper, I think I'm just going to use this one. And maybe I'll use this one for the bedroom as well. And then maybe to finish off the bathroom, I'll just put some art. Maybe just like a little university picture. Because I don't really think there's like too much that we can actually put in here. <laughs> I mean, I could put lights, but I don't know if I'll put lights in the bathroom. Maybe we'll put like this flag on this wall over here too. But I think that's all that I could do for this bathroom. So why don't we go ahead and move on to maybe this bedroom. So for the bedroom, I know for a fact I want to use this duck lamp. Should we use the Murphy bed, y'all? I wasn't thinking about using it, but like we could use the murphy bed right yeah i think we have to because i haven't really used this object in a while we'll get that and then i know there's a couple of nightstands that we could use i think i'm just gonna use this one and then we'll just have it in a different swatch we'll probably get two of them actually we'll get the duck lamp to go on one of them because why not and then is there any dressers there is one there's this one i kind of want this one to be right here and then i want to get like a nice chair oh you know what one of those rundown ones yes we could put that like right here in the corner i wish that this rug was a little bit bigger but this is gonna have to do i want to see if i could get any 
clutter object. So I'm going to go over to Kits Decor and see what we have. We do have a couple lights. You know what? I could use a couple of these. Maybe I could put these lights in here then and just have them going alongside this wall. I'm going to get a couple of these posters and I'm going to put them around like so. I think I want to have another one back here too. Ooh, and maybe the soccer picture can be good. Maybe we'll put that like right there in the corner. We do have a couple of these books that we could put down. Ooh, I could put some of these out here too. Do they come in like different swatches? They do. You know what? Let's put a couple of these books maybe like on this coffee table. But I think on that note, y'all, I'm pretty much done with the university house. I really love the way that this one turned out. Like this one is so cute. I have to use this for something, y'all. <laughs> All right. So why don't we go ahead and move on to the second house? So let's go ahead and spin again. Okay. So let's go ahead and spin for the stuff pack. Y'all, what if it's Katy Perry sweet treats or something? What we're going to get? Ooh, wait. Okay, high end loft stuff. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Okay, so the second house is going to be high end loft stuff inspired. I'm pretty sure that high end loft stuff comes with some windows, I want to say, and maybe a door. Okay, good, y'all. So high end loft stuff does come with doors and windows. So we're going to get these doors and then we're going to also use the windows. Oh, we could maybe make this look a little bit more modern. You know what? Maybe we could get like a couple of these windows on this wall and we'll have them be rotated the same way. We'll probably get three over here in the front maybe we can get three back here and then maybe like two windows over here as well so this house is going to have like a lot of windows but i'm going to try to have it give off a modern vibe if i can so this pack doesn't come with any wallpaper or flooring which is a little bit unfortunate so we're gonna have to use base game things so i was thinking what we could do for the outside of the house is maybe just make it white maybe i could use this wallpaper and i could just make it all white maybe something kind of like this where it's just like a nice white modern house and then maybe what i could do is just color this wall with this stone design and then we'll recolor the stone just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting on the outside so what i was thinking we could do for the floor is maybe just go for like a base game floor and then i'll just recolor it a little so for the wallpaper out here i'm just gonna go for white and then maybe have like a slightly different color like a grayish blue color for the border at the top so a lot of the swatches that come with this pack are kind of blue so maybe we could try to like blend this blue with some of the wallpaper so it can kind of blend in a little bit more so i'm gonna have to use a couple of these couches obviously i think there's a couple chairs too that we want to use maybe we'll just use these and then there is also a tv hmm. where's the living room gonna go <laughs> maybe the living room could go in this little corner section right here so we'll get oh man i want i wanted to use this wall tv so bad but we don't really have a, like a lot of wall space in here so we're gonna probably have to just use this one we could maybe get a base game rug to go in the middle we'll get a chair and then we'll just have like two chairs right here in front of the tv and then i'm gonna get a rug from the base game is there a coffee table that comes with this pack yes there is we're gonna use this coffee table is there any artwork yes there's a couple pieces so i'm gonna maybe use this there's only like three pieces of art so we're gonna have to like use them sparingly i think so i think i'm gonna put maybe one back here there's also like this home stereo though we could put that over here in the corner i think i'm gonna use this door it kind of gives off a modern vibe anyway and we're just gonna recolor it a little bit all right so what i was thinking we could do is maybe we could have the kitchen and be here we'll have a bathroom and then we'll have a bedroom and then we'll put like maybe like a desk or something over here in the corner so i am going to maybe try to use this door here and then we could try to use an archway maybe for the kitchen or honestly maybe we could have the kitchen be a little bit more open i don't know if i like that hmm no i don't think i like that we'll just have like an archway for the kitchen i think high end loft stuff does not come with any kitchen stuff at all so we're gonna just have to use something for the base game oh so i think we'll just use these these kind of give off a modern vibe anyway and then we'll get maybe a nice fridge this looks really modern or we could use this one you know what let's use this one <laughs> i don't really use this one all too often so we'll put that there and then we'll get a really expensive stove from the base game i think just this one will do okay so we don't really have any tables that come with this pack but we do have a desk so I could put like a little computer desk maybe in this corner for right now, but we need a table. So I'm thinking we could just use one from the base game. Maybe one that kind of gives off a modern vibe. Honestly, we could just use this one. This one kind of gives off a modern vibe. I'm going to pair it up with these chairs and then we're going to recolor everything. Then we'll go for like a black swatch for the table or maybe like a gray. Would gray look better? Uh, maybe a color like this. And then for the chairs, I'm going to swap out the wood texture for a metallic one. We'll get a trash can to go beside the fridge. And then maybe we could try to get some light let's try to maybe get like another window to go right there i might have to make the bathroom one tile bigger now that i think about it and then speaking of the bathroom i guess we'll go ahead and work on that i think high end loft stuff comes with a couple of bathroom objects yeah so we have like an angled tub we have a shower so we're gonna definitely use the shower we'll put that in here we could probably get a light in here too maybe <laughs> um and then maybe like a debug light it comes with a sink so we'll put that maybe here and then i know it comes with a toilet so maybe a toilet in the middle okay so this pack doesn't come with the mirror so 
I'm just going to use one from the base game. I'm going to use the same wallpaper in here. And now I'm just going to recolor a couple of the objects in the bathroom as well. We're going to probably get some tile in here as well. And I think that might just be it for the bathroom. There's not like a whole lot that we could do in here. So I think that might just be it for the bathroom. So I guess we'll move over here next to this little space. So like I was saying, I kind of wanted to have a computer to go here. So I'm going to get the computer from high end loft stuff. We'll get the chair that goes with it as well, which I think is this one. Is there like any lamps that come with that pack? We don't really have like any table lamps though, but I could put this up. Honestly, I think I'm going to put this in a bedroom somewhere. So we're going to put that there for right now. You know what? Let's go ahead and move on to the bedroom anyway. So as for the bedroom, I kind of wanted to use like the double bed, but I don't know if there's going to be enough room for two Sims. So I think we're just going to have to get the single bed for now. We'll get the dresser. We'll put that over here on this wall. We'll maybe move this wall light over here, or maybe we could put it like above the bed and then we'll get like some art here. There is an end table. So I'm going to get like maybe one of those on that side. And then maybe we could put carpet in this room and we'll just recolor it. And then for the wallpaper, I think I'm going to recolor this as well to maybe make it a little bit darker, kind of like this. All right, y'all. Well, I think that's pretty much it for this house. I really like the way that this one turned out. I just wish we had more objects to kind of work with, but I think this turned out pretty cool. I ended up using this fish tank as like, a little half wall kind of to kind of separate this living room from this like den space over here but i really love how this one turned out oh you know what i almost forgot i need to put like a light in here let me just get that real quick okay so now we're done with this house all right well let's go ahead and move on to the last house i hope it's something good like I don't know. Suppose it's like Lunar Lakes or something. Like, I don't know. That's going to be like an interesting house, right? <laughs> Let's just see what we get. Sunlit Tides. Okay. We could do like a nice little Sunlit Tides house. All right. We could definitely do that. So since we have Sunlit Tides, we could maybe put a palm tree out in front. So I'm going to try to get a couple of small ones and put them out in the front. So maybe we could just get like one of these. So we could put it like by the house and then we'll get maybe like another one and we could maybe just put it like over here kind of. Okay. So I'm over here on the Sims 3 store and I'm just going to go over to items so i can see what comes with this world and i don't think i'm seeing any uh wallpaper or flooring so i'm gonna probably have to just use something from the base game i'm gonna use the shaker shingles and i'm just gonna try to make this into like a little beach house this wallpaper comes with a couple of these corner pieces so i'm gonna put a couple of these up as well i'm gonna try to go for like a color like this for the wallpaper though i'm kind of upset now because i can't change the color of this roof because if i do it's gonna change all the other roofs at the same time and that's a little bit annoying so I think we're just going to have to go for this roof. We can, however, change these columns. So we're going to get rid of these. And I'm just going to use the ones that come with sunlit tights, which I believe are these right here. So we're just going to place these down. Now, sunlit tights doesn't come with the door, but it does come with a couple of windows. Maybe we should get the windows first and then we'll go to the doors. The windows and doors are these right here. So you have these that actually have like little shingles on them. And then you also have these right here, which doesn't have any. So I think I'm going to use a combination of both. Also, what is going on with this wallpaper right here? Like, can we fix that really quick so for the front of the house we'll use these windows that have the shutters on them and then for the sides we'll end up just using these so when it comes to the door i was thinking we could just use a sliding one like this since it kind of lets in sunlight and stuff like that what we'll do is we'll just drag the color from the windows over to the door so it'll kind of blend in a little bit more we're gonna make the hardwood floor this color and as for the wallpaper i think i'm just gonna use maybe this one i'm trying to see if i could get by by using this floral wallpaper but i don't know if that's doing a little bit too much i think what we'll do is we'll maybe have this be like an accent wall for one of the rooms or something and then we'll just have like a more blue toned or something for the rest of the house so i'm just gonna cover up all the parts that i don't want to have an accent wall and then i'm just gonna go back to the creative style tool and i'm gonna change it from fabrics to maybe uh paints or something like that and i think i'm maybe just gonna go for a color like this instead and then this way we'll still have like blue right and it still looks nice but then we'll also have like this nice little feature wall over here too and then we'll just drag out the wall this way so i think we could make this into like a bedroom or something why don't we maybe just draw out a wall right here for the bathroom i think i'm gonna change the color of the floor ever so slightly to be this this kind of matches a little bit more with the border of the wallpaper all right so let's go ahead and try to figure out the living room so we're gonna have to use a combination of base game and sunlit ties for this one so the tv doesn't have to be that big or really that nice i might just go for this one so there are no chairs that come with sunlit ties so what I was thinking to do was to use this love seat and then use the matching chair 
and then maybe just recolor them to make them look a little bit more nautical. So I'm trying to figure out where I could put this. So Sunlit Tights comes with this towel rack and I'm trying to figure out where it could go. I was thinking maybe honestly the bathroom, but the bathroom is not going to be that big. I know that Sunlit Tights does come with this outdoor shower, which we might can use this outside somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to use like this on the inside. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe just put this here because I want to have space for like normal bathroom stuff. So I think what I'm going to do for the bathroom is we're just going to use maybe this light over here from the base game or we could go for a slightly different color for the wallpaper in the bathroom i do kind of like this one so next up we should work on the kitchen because i need to make sure we have enough space for everything i really would love to use these countertop shawl but these are stored content and i can't use them but i think we'll just use maybe these instead though and then we also need like a dining table honestly a circular one like this would not even be that bad we'll probably just put this one down and we'll get some matching chairs to go with it and then we could get like a little bit of a backsplash or something back here too i'm gonna put a microwave in here and then i also want to put a coffee machine i think i'm just going to put this one over here and i just want to recolor it a little bit but i think that's how our kitchen is going to look and i guess last but not least we have to worry about the bedroom so i was thinking that we could honestly just use this wallpaper all in the bedroom i might actually recolor it a little bit so i changed my mind about the wallpaper i think i'm just going to go for a color like this instead and then i'm going to pair it up with the bed that comes with sunlit ties as well which is oh this one is like so big y'all <laughs> <laughs> this bed is so big i feel like if i at least put it up against the wall the sims should be able to get in this but that bed is like huge y'all <laughs> i'm gonna use the first swatch and i'm just gonna change the color of the bed sheet and i think i'm just gonna go for like a color like this for the bed sheet i'm gonna use this end table from the base game i'm gonna use this lamp from the base game i think i'm just gonna extend the bedroom out a couple tiles this way just to kind of give us some more space in here and then what i want to do next is get a rug to go underneath it i think i'm gonna use this rug right here i almost forgot y'all i have got to use the sunlit tides curtains this is like a staple this is like honestly one of my favorite curtains in the entire game and i gotta put these like almost everywhere okay so we're pretty much done with the inside of the house now we're just gonna go to the back really quick because i want to use this outdoor shower if i can there's also this massage table that comes with sunlit tides and i think i want to use that one as well we do have this fruit sculpture too i don't know if we have space for it in the house really like uh where would i put this i could put this on the table but that's gonna be like really big uh i don't know where i want to put this at y'all <laughs> i kind of want to use this somewhere but maybe we'll just put it out here for now so now that i have the massage table i think what i'm gonna do is maybe just put a couple of plants out here we can have like a little private secluded space to maybe shower off maybe get like a massage and then maybe we can also put some sand and stuff down here as well just to kind of make this a little bit more beachy i'm gonna see if i could use a couple of the plants that come with sunlit tights as well i think i'm just gonna sprinkle these around like so there's also a couple of these lounge chairs that come with sunlit tides so i might get a couple of those i could also squeeze a grill out here and then maybe like a picnic table or something maybe just this one from the base game and then i could maybe just put this oh i can't put that on top of it that's kind of unfortunate i really wanted to put this somewhere but i don't know where to put this so maybe we just don't need this i mean i could put this in here but i don't really like that and there's not a lot of counter space i don't want to make the kitchen not functional so i don't think we'll end up using this but i am just going to recolor the picnic tables and these chairs but i think on that note y'all i am pretty much done with this entire build this was so much fun y'all like i really loved the way that this turned out so let's get a closer look at it before we go so over here we have our university house this looks really realistic too i would have liked to live here if i was in university still <laughs> but we have like a bathroom over here we have our bedroom and then we of course have our kitchen space and living room and stuff like that and then behind the house we have a fire pit a bonfire we have like a throwing disc and a soccer ball and stuff like that there's also a kicky bag over here too and then moving on over here we have our more modern house so this one uses the high-end loft stuff pack and this is so so nice i love how i have like two sitting spaces maybe like a den and maybe like a living room or something like that i like the bedroom as well and then we have like a little workspace over here with a bathroom and a kitchen i love the way that this kitchen turned out is so nice maybe i'll just try to squeeze a plant in the corner so we can have something there but i really love the way that this house turned out too and then last but not least we have our sunlit tides house so this one is the smallest house though but i still think it looks kind of cool so when you come inside you have your living room area over here we have a bathroom, we have a kitchen, and then we have a bedroom. So it is a one bedroom house. Before we go, I might just add a little rug by the front door. Maybe like one of these. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> so then when you come in the backyard, you have a massage table, a shower, you can relax, you can grill and sit down and eat if you want to. So I think I've made a pretty good use of the lot size. So I'm going to leave this link down below, y'all, if you want to download it. I had a lot of fun building this. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below, follow me over on Twitch where I stream a 
lot more of The Sims, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thanks for watching!